Hello, this is uh, John Linscott with Savage Arms. I uh, want to talk about the new A17 semi-automatic Magnum rimfire rifle. Um, I'm one of the design engineers who developed this rifle. Uh, it's brand new and uh, it's very interesting. Uh, there have been other semi-automatic 17 HMRs in the past that have problems. This rifle has been completely designed from the ground up to circumvent that problem. This rifle is not a traditional blowback operated firearm. This is a, a delay blowback firearm, and that's how we get around that problem. And I'll show you that mechanism um, in just a second. Um, the basics of the rifle, detachable 10-round rotary magazine, clips in like that. Uh, manual bolt lock right there. To deactivate the bolt lock, just pull the bolt handle back, and it'll close the bolt. Um, cross bolt safety and adjustable accu trigger. Adjustable outside of the stock so you don't need to take the gun apart or anything like that. And um, I'll, right now I'll show you how the gun's taken apart and you can see that delay blowback mechanism. So I'll take the magazine out. You can use a, a punch or any similar tool. I'm actually going to use the uh, included Savage accu trigger adjustable uh, trigger tool. So I'll stick this in the back of the dust cover. That'll pop off. I'll set that aside. Recoil assembly comes out. Bolt handle comes off. And I'll just use the recoil assembly to pick the bolt out. See how easy the bolt comes out? And now you can see the bolt assembly there. A fully contained assembly. Uh, this piece right here is the interrupter or lock and lug that locks the bolt to the receiver when the gun's in battery. And this, this lug here that locks the bolt to the receiver also doubles as the firing pin block that presents the gun from firing at a battery. This gun cannot fire at a battery. So when the gun goes forward, the recoil assembly pushes through the bolt on the carrier mechanism. That activates the lock and lug, locks to the top of the receiver, and then the gun, when it fires, it's delayed for a certain segment of time that allows the case pressures to die down before the gun starts to cycle. And then the, the, the uh, brass casings are extremely uh, held intact and they're, they're safe.